What's going on guys? Wanted to show you something that I think is pretty cool in terms of uh, next level finishes that we can do on a project. So most people are used to, this is your standard GFI. Some of them have the white buttons, so it blends in a little bit more, but this is the Legrand uh, by Adorn or Adorn by Legrand uh, outlet. Now, obviously, this is going to have a different shape to it. It's more square rather than the standard rectangle. It's going to be a bigger wall plate. It comes in a couple different colors, and depending on the room that you're working in, you can kind of make it stand out. These are a little bit more expensive than your typical outlets, so I'd say these are a great accent piece. So putting them in a bathroom or in the hall bathroom right now, or we could put them in the kitchen, something like that, where we're able to accent that area, but we're not having to spend a lot more money on the rest of the house with the outlets. It also kind of makes these pop a little bit more if they're more in a uh, specific spot rather than being just everywhere in the entire house. But uh, with these, they're gonna come, the wall plate and the outlet are gonna come separate. So you will have to order those separate, um, I believe, yeah, you can't order these through Home Depot. They're not gonna be something that's typically in stock, but you can order them through Home Depot. Lowe's, I believe, carries them as well. Or you can just go straight to their uh, website and order them off of there. But I wanna show you guys, like, it's gonna be relatively straightforward compared to your regular GFI outlet that we're gonna be installing. On the back, I'll come in nice and close. We've got our plugins for our wires back here. And then, uh, let's see, this should be, I believe, decide if we're, uh, oh, load line, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Anyways, uh, if you have stuff that's traveling or if you just have stuff that's going straight into the GFI. So uh, we're gonna hook this all up. I'll try and explain it as we go. And we'll do the disclaimer because I'm gonna try and do it without turning off the breaker. You should never do this. Please go shut off the breaker if you ever do this. This is for entertainment, not for instructional use, yada yada, here we go. So, got my handy dandy ratcheting screwdriver. I'm gonna zip the cover plate off real quick. And I'm gonna use the old cheater way for this guy. Make some noise with the Milwaukee. Ooh, that's hot. A little friction in there. All right, let's set this guy off to the side. Pull this out right here. And then we've got these guys set behind the screws. So the first one I like to take off is gonna be, oh, I need to switch my ratcheting screwdriver. Getting ahead of myself. The first one I like to switch is gonna be the ground wire. Uh, I'll pull that one off and then get that one out of the way. The biggest ones that we're trying, that I try and control for is gonna be the hot side over here and making sure that I'm paying attention to where that is at all times because that's the one that's gonna shock you more than anything. A little watch. All right, let's get right there. And then obviously, I'm not, I'm not an electrician, so there's gonna be some Sparkies who might watch this and go, we could do it faster. Absolutely, that's why we hire Sparkies. But this is my house, and so I'm allowed to do the work on my own house. So, come on, buddy. Be cooperative, people are watching. There we go. All right, so I usually like to have corners that I work off of if I'm ever gonna mess with an outlet. So I'll put the grounds down here, neutrals up here, and then the hots will lay. Uh, off to the side and that way we just kind of keep everything together and away from each other because we don't need people we don't need these guys uh <clears throat> getting all mixed up Ooh, snap crackle pop that means it's live right. off to the side and then because i get a little nervous i like to use these guys over here all right so that's off to the side. Now it's time for the hot side. This is gonna be line. So we'll put that into the line side. Keep track of the side you need your ratchet on. There we go. That was easy. Alrighty. Now, let's 
see if I can do this without getting shocked. Huh. Pop that bad boy off there. Oh, we're gonna need to grab a wire nut. But let's see, we got the line. This is the fun part because I always somehow seem to get shocked. So if we don't today, then you're watching the very special edition. And we'll try and edit out any cursing. Tightening down the screw up top. Get those guys in nice and snug. Cool. Now let's see if we can do our controls. I'm sorry if I'm tilting this away from you. There we go. That one's in all the way. You know, I'm gonna be proud of myself if I don't shock myself today. Tighten that bad boy down right there. Alright, and then I'm gonna take my wire strippers and strip a little bit more off this bad boy. Let's see. Trim that little curved guy off so that I'm not bumping into it. Set this back here. So, trick is so grab it with your pliers and just twist right there. So, a nice part is it twists it all around there so we have a great connection. And then we will wire nut the sun again. All right. That box is moving quite a bit. We'll have to make sure we secure that back there. Come on guys, cooperate. People are watching. It's not the time for performance anxiety. Alrighty, and then got our little back screws. Like we said, a little cheater way to do it. Use We'll unpack. Come on. I'm missing. I'm not impressing the people. finish that we've got now on the wall compared to the original it makes it just stand out a little bit more like we said at the beginning it's a way that you can create an accent in kitchen bathroom especially so it's one of those next level finishes and we'll try and highlight a couple more especially as I get stuff that we can do around my house and show off to you guys but yeah if you guys are interested in Legrand by Adorn we try and find stuff that is gonna be a little next level finish that we can put into our projects to take any of our remodels to the next level, give it just that little bit more. So uh, if you guys wanna learn more about what we're doing, feel free to uh, check us out on Instagram or check out the website in the description below. But until then, make sure you do good work, drink your chocolate milk, Shamrock Farms, and we'll see you on the next one.